Hello, this is Nikki in Niagara coming to you from Niagara Falls, Canada. And today we're going to take a look at Gods and Beasts, a mythological coloring book by Adam Fisher. Now this book is a square and it is a small one compared to my hand here. I have very small hands. It is an eight inch square. The back has some information about the book and the illustrator. This is a Pegasus book. You can see the thickness of it there. So it's a nice big book. Did it say how many illustrations there were on the back here? No. Oh, yes it does. 100 illustrations. So, we start with a colorable picture of the front cover. Then we have the title page. We can get the spine straight. There we go. This book was published in 2017, and the copyright page and the dedication page are both colorable. The paper in this book is uh, quite um, thin. It's, it's better than your uh, Amazon paper, but uh, not as good as Creative Haven, so kind of a medium, oh, well, it's not even a medium, it's, you know, it's all right. So, the book is presented in the same format. The pages are perforated, and the illustrations are single-sided. The pictures are framed, and each page uh, consists of a mythological beast or god. It gives you the name of the of the creature being. So this is a harpy and then it tells you the uh, ethnicity or the country of origin. And this here it says Greek and then after that there is a one or two sentence explanation of what they do or about them. And that is the same format throughout the book. And it has uh, mythology from all over the world in the book. The illustration, the line art is... Um, yeah, well, in some places it can be thin, while in others it's medium. It is closed line art. And there is a bit of grayscaling with uh, pointillism by the looks of it. Yep, definitely pointillism. I really love these pictures and the size of the book makes these um, makes these uh, doable pictures. They, they're, they're quite detailed and yet the uh, size means that one could get these done in a day or two. They're not big projects but they have the detail of one. I'm going to be flipping rather <laughs> quickly if I can, if I can, here. There, I've got a lot of pages to go through here, so let you have a look at them. It's a lovely book. 
I'm uh, very pleased with it. The only thing that it is missing, which I think would uh, improve it just that little bit, that little bit to make it a per perfect book, is that it should have the pronunciations of some of these names, or all of them. Some of them are easy enough to pronounce. Others are like this one right here is Japanese, and I try it. Ish, ish, Oshi Roi Baba. Oshi Roi Baba. That's with my little bit of knowledge of how to pronounce Japanese letters. There's a lot of Japanese ones here in a row, so. Melanesian. I'm going to have to start holding it this way. It's becoming more difficult to turn the pages at this point. The book will lay flat if you uh, do some cracking of the spine. It's well bound, anyways. It's uh, it's glue bound, but it's uh, a strong binding. So yeah, this is all mythology in here. No fairy tales. And then we have an About the Artist page, which is colorable. And uh, social media on the back, which is colorable as well. And that's the end of the book. So, once again, this is Gods and Beasts by Adam Fisher. <laughs>